Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it's Friday, July 24th. Mrs. Deaconess Elizabeth. And we're here for your afternoon devotions today. So we're going to be doing the noon devotion, which is found in your hymnal on page 296, if you'd like to turn there and join us now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, and to the, Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, and Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us now. All right, our hymn is going to be hymn 702, My Faith Looks Up to Thee, and we'll do verses 1 and 4. My faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away, oh, let me from this day. sullen stream shall o'er me roll. Bless Savior then in love, fear and distrust remove. Oh, bear me safe above a ransom soul. Okay, and our Bible reading today is from the book of Acts, the 21st chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. After these days, we got ready and went up to Jerusalem. And some of the disciples from Caesarea went with us, bringing us to the house of Minason of Cyprus, an early disciple with whom we should lodge. When we had, gone to, when we had come to Jerusalem, the brothers received us gladly. On the following day, Paul went in with us to James, and all the elders were present. After greeting them, he related one by one the things that had God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. And when they heard it, they glorified God, and they said to him, You see, brothers, how many thousands are among the Jews of those who have believed. They are all zealous for the law, and they have been told about you, that you teach all the Jews who are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses telling them not to circumcise their children or walk according to our customs. What then is to be done? They will certainly hear that you have come. Do therefore what we tell you. We have four men who are under a vow. Take these men and purify yourself along with them and pay their expenses so that they may shave their heads. Thus all will know that there is nothing in what they have been told about you, but that you yourself also live in observance of the law. But as for the Gentiles who have believed, we have sent a letter with our judgment that they should abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what has been strangled and from sexual immorality. Then Paul took the men, and the next day he purified himself along with them, and he went to the temple, giving notice when the days of purification would be fulfilled and the offering presented for each one of them. So, uh, this is a, an important text about Paul visiting with James and uh, as we've been talking about now for the last week or two, uh, this, this separation that, that is happening between Christianity and Judaism, as people are realizing that the, the law uh, was a, a guardian to keep people until Christ had come, as we hear in other parts of the scripture. And uh, now even the, the disciples are, are seeing the Gentiles believe and seeing the Holy Spirit work in people uh, who are both Jew and Gentile. And so... Uh, this is something that they're giving thanks to God for and something that they are also learning how to navigate now as former Jews themselves. How do they now deal with Gentiles and, and what sort of third use of the law types of things uh, do they relate to them? So we, we've talked about the, the food sacrifice to idols, right, and the, the Sixth Commandment issues that, uh, that are passed down to them. Because these would have been things that would have been common for the civilization and the culture of the time. Uh, with it being, you know, a Greco-Roman civilization, the Greeks and Romans 
were very much about doing these things. And so the early Christians were careful uh, to pass on their beliefs to the new believers so that the new believers would, would be aware that uh, even though the, the ceremonial law aspects of, of Judaism uh, were not in effect, the Ten Commandments and, and uh, that moral aspect of the law uh, was still to be passed on. But of course, uh, you know, being saved by grace through faith above all. So uh, let's continue now back in your hymnal as we pray together. Uh, we'll do this short litany here. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people of the earth may look to you and see their salvation. For your mercy's sake we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us today? All right. Well, we have tomorrow, Women's Coffee Hour will be here at the church at 9 a.m. on the church lawn. So if you would like to come to that, ladies, you may bring your lawn chair. Um, it'll be a nice time to gather together for Christian fellowship. Um, Sunday... Uh, younger Children's Sunday School will not be offered through Zoom. It will be offered in person still, um, and, but we will resume offering it through Zoom and in person the following Sunday, which is August 2nd. Um, and there will be no youth night next week, um, but we will resume the week after that. So. And we're continuing to go through our study on the Book of Revelation in the Sunday morning adult Bible class if you'd like to join us. Um, also, don't forget the verse of the month, Matthew 26, 28. This is my blood of the covenant poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So we wish you God's blessings on your weekend. Uh, I will be back to see you tomorrow. Elizabeth will be uh, driving somewhere, maybe in Oklahoma or some corner of Missouri somewhere. So uh, we wish her God's blessings as she uh, begins her uh, vacation this week. And uh, as I said, I will see you tomorrow. The Lord bless.